Hey everyone, welcome back to In a Pinch. I'm Chris, and today we're talking about moving forward. First of all, I want to thank the subscribers for all the feedback on, on the video, over Messenger, on my email. Uh, overwhelmingly, uh, everyone said just go ahead and keep going no matter what you're talking about. So I'm going to keep talking about tobacco. You know, when, when I started this station, it was uh, intended to be a cross-platform tobacco station, and it en ended up mostly focusing on uh, nasal snuff. Um, I think I had one, I either had one cigar video and two pipe videos, or two cigar videos and one pipe video, I can't remember anymore, but it ended up being mostly nasal snuff. Um, if you watched my last video, you know I'm kind of off nasal snuff right now. It's not a permanent thing, I just, uh, I was using it to the point that I, I wasn't enjoying it anymore and didn't see a reason to keep going at that rate. So I'm taking a break um, uh, to see if I can get an appreciation back for it, because otherwise I'm, I'm wasting my money. In the meantime, I've gotten back into uh, another form of tobacco that I loved before, nasal snuff, and that's snus. Um, my snus history goes back to 2013. Um, it was kind of starting to become a thing, and then it kind of wasn't a thing for a while when uh, when all the vapors started coming out that kind of started dominating the, the at least the YouTube scene. Um, when, when I was in the snooze before, it was almost primarily loose. Um, I was really into Eton, Grove, and or Locket. Uh, there were some portions, uh, but I, I, I used almost exclusively loose. Uh, the trap I ran into with that was I started getting really into Odin's Extreme, which at the time was the strongest snooze on the market. Uh, now it's it's what is it, 44, 46 milligrams per gram with that Siberia stuff, but 22 milligrams, I mean, that was still over half a pack of cigarettes worth of tobacco in your mouth at a time. Um, so when I started going through close to a can of that a day uh, is actually when I stopped and started switching over to snuff, so um, kind of seeing if I can practice uh, some degree of balance here. Um, so I guess that th th this also makes this my... Uh, my video introduction to the snooze community, and I want to give uh, a quick shout out to Snooze Nation. Uh, joined three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, and everyone's been so nice uh, uh, from the random people that I'm just meeting from all over the world on there uh, to the reviewers that uh, that uh, are new, new new to me now and and that were around uh, when I was in the snooze before. There weren't a whole lot of snooze reviewers. Uh, when I was into it back in 2013, there's a few more now, uh, but still not a huge community. It's 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 uh, really a lot like the snuff community. It's a uh, small, self-contained kind of you know, uh, small number of people with a whole lot of appreciation. So, uh, for uh, a quick, introdu quick introduction to this news community, I'm known for rambling. And I talk on and on, and sometimes I go way off topic. And uh, if I get really off topic, I'll go through and chop out the 15 minutes of talking about nothing and stick in one of these pictures. Which is kind of my comedic way of uh, of saying, yeah, I, I, I go way off topic. But uh, my, my reviewers have told me that uh, that uh, that's what they like the most about my videos, that it kind of feels like hanging out, and it's comfortable, and, and I get that, because when I was in this news back in 2013, my favorite review channel. Now, I I, I did love and and still love uh, Chad at Snoopy, um, and it's, it's it's really cool to see how far Chad's come from back then when you know, a lot of his reviews he was doing from his living room on his couch to now he has a uh, he he built a separate room in the in the house for uh, for doing reviews to now he's raising money to build a, uh, a a whole separate studio on his property specifically for doing reviews. So that's that's really awesome to see, but. Truth be told, my favorite news reviewer back then was someone who not a whole lot of people seemed to like, but I liked him a lot. He was called uh, Snooze and Stuff. And actually, if you go back and uh, look at his videos, uh, th th those of you who already subscribed to me, if you pull up Snooze and Stuff, uh, you'll see that uh, uh, his videos were a lot like mine. He was just a guy sitting, you know, kind of chatting with you about tobacco, and you kind of felt like you were hanging out with him in his living room, and it was comfortable and informal. And and so that, that that's the vibe I'm, go, I'm, I'm going with here. I'm not a professional. My uh, uh, my my history of hobby tobacco uh, goes back to when I was 17 and started getting into cigars. Uh, that being the case, my taste in snooze is a lot a lot like my taste in snuff. Um, I like tobacco-centric uh, flavors. I don't mind flavors. 
Um, in fact, one of the snoozes I have lined up to review sometime in the near future is a flavored snooze. Uh, but my favorites, the ones that are going to get the highest ratings for me, um, are, are always going to be the, the well-rounded, tobacco-centric snoozes. Uh, that being the case, the first snooze review I'll be doing is going to be Trey Ankari V. Um, got a portion in right now. Uh, I love this stuff. I'll I'll go into that. That'll be my first uh, my first snooze review. Uh, for the snuff fans, um, I do have I I wasn't going to, but I, I I have to do a review at some point soon on on Old Mill Commonwealth. Um, it's gotten a little bit of buzz. Puff and Snuff has put up a great review of it. Um, it needs a lot more buzz for for Old Mill fans who uh, who have enjoyed his tobacco centric uh, snuffs. I mean like. Let's talk pure Virginia toast and Old English toast and Ivory toast and uh, the the I think there were three different uh, cigar theme snuffs he did. Um, if if you enjoyed any of his tobacco centric snuffs, this is the best to my taste. Anyways, uh, the best that he's put out yet. So I'll be doing a review on that sometime soon. Um, I've also been invited. One second. And that was him right there. Um, I, I've been invited by uh, by Alex, uh, snuff, snuff anybody, Mac Feeble, um, to do a tandem review with him uh, tomorrow morning. Um, so sometime tomorrow uh, he'll be popping up a review. I'm not going to spoil what the review's on, but I'll tell you it's one of the great sought-after, hard-to-get-your-hands-on uh, snuffs out there. Uh, and it was my favorite for a very long time. I'm looking forward to, uh, to doing that with him. Um, also... Uh, coming up over the fall, I've been speaking with uh, Puff and Snuff. We got on the got on the phone the other day, and we're talking about um, kind of almost what what the responses to my last video proved. I, I I'm really into the trading circles, and a lot of you guys know me from the trading circles, and you know that uh, uh, I trade in all platforms: pipe pipe tobacco, refinished pipes, cigars, snuff, um, and Almost everybody who I've traded with within these circles are into more than one platform of hobby tobacco. Um, so the fact that uh, that it was voted for this this channel to go ahead and switch gears kind of proved my theory that uh, you guys are interested in more than one kind of tobacco. And I understand on the groups, on the forums, it, you're almost discouraged, not all the time, but a lot of the times, from veering from the topic of that community. So you don't really find that out until... It, it, until we all start talking, um, but most of us are. Um, I am going into the fall. A lot more uh, uh, tobacco in general videos will be happening. I, I, I have uh, I've started putting together a list of pipe tobaccos I'd like to review. Uh, none of them are new, um, but they're ones that are popularly reviewed that I'd like to give my uh, my stance on. Uh, I got a whole humidor full of cigars that have been sitting since last year that are waiting to be reviewed. Um, snoozes, um, really going to be popping into gear with snooze. Um, uh, seems like I have something really exciting to share with you. I haven't gotten a message back yet. But yeah, um, uh, Puff and Snuff and I, we're going to be doing a lot of tandem reviews going into the fall um, for snooze and pipe tobacco. Uh, sometimes those are going to be via Skype. Sometimes it's just going to be I review something and then he reviews it separately or he reviews something and then I review it separately. Uh, but I, I've, I've always really enjoyed going back and forth in videos with uh, Pop and Snuff. I have a lot of respect for him. Um, he he picks out things in tobacco that I don't find, and I pick out the things that he doesn't find. So I, 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 I thought it would just make a lot of sense that since he and I both have the same taste, but slightly different palates, how interesting would it be to uh, to, to see if we can each get our, uh, our takes on the same things out there. So there's going to be a lot of that going on. Um, it's going to be a really fun uh, fall. I was thinking uh, when, when I when, when I mentioned uh, Snooze Nation, I was thinking I've never given a formal shout out to all the groups I belong to. So I made a list of <laughs> I made the list of the ones that I'm most active in, and uh, so I want to give a shout out to uh, Snuff House, Nasal Snuff Takers, Modern Snuff, Briar Nation, Corn Cob Nation, Distinguished Ruffian, and. Uh, Cigar Geeks and Snooze Nation. Um, there are others, but those are uh, where I'm the most active. So, shout out to all of you. Um, I did start an Instagram feed. I actually started a while ago, but uh, I never invited you guys to it. So, here it is at the bottom of the screen, and it'll, it'll also be in the description below. Uh, all lowercase, in a underscore pinch. 
Um, so if you're on, on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. Uh, a lot of the pictures are just going to be uh, pictures of tobacco, me smoking tobacco, uh, cool pictures of cigars, things like that. But I'll also be using it to, uh, to uh, let you guys know uh, about channel updates and community updates and things like that going on. So again, uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching. If, uh, if you've been a subscriber, thanks for sticking within a pinch. And if you haven't been a subscriber and you're just now, uh, just now finding us, please subscribe, follow, like. Um, it's it's, it's going to be a fun fall. Thank you all so much. God bless. And salute.